Right, today we're going to see how to generate palettes from images in GIMP. We will put the link of this image in the description box. So now in order to generate a palette, go to the dialog box here. So as you can see, there's a small arrow. Configure this tab, left click, and now click on add tab. And now go down to palettes, left click. So here it is. So this is the palettes menu. As you can see, there are many palettes. So now left click again, the arrow here, configure this tab, and then go to palettes menu, and then click on import palette. So here you can choose from a gradient to import the palette from gradient. So this is the gradients we have here. So here it is from the gradient tool here, gradient menu. Here you can select the image or the palette file. So for me, I want to select the image. So here for the image, if you check the sample merge, it will pick colors from all the visible layers. So I'm going to uncheck it. And here for the selected pixels only, it will pick colors from the selected area. So I'm going to uncheck it. And here on the import options, you have the palette name, you can change it. So here, let's say, for example, I'm going to change it to road. So here it's the number of colors. You can increase it or decrease it. So for example, here it is. It won't go to 10,000. So I'm going to bring it back to 256, press enter. And here for the columns, it will just affect the preview here, how the colors are going to be, to be displayed here in the preview window. For example, if I increase it, so here it is. Now I'm going to bring it double click to two press enter so, so that the columns are displayed in two columns. So here for the interval, it will allow to group similar colors to an average color. So here if I increase it, as you can see, the number of colors are reduced here, are changing. So if I bring it all the way up, so here, it will be only eight colors here. So here, this is the kind of orange or brown. So now I'm done. I'm just going to click on import. So here it is. So this is the palette generated from our image here. So if you right click, as you can see, there's another menu. You can export it as a CSS style sheet, Java map, others here, offset palette, palette gradient. So now what we want, we want to edit this palette. So for example, left click. So here it is. And now if I click on this icon here, zoom in. So here it will increase, here it will zoom in, size here the palette here so here it is and here if you double click on a color here it will open the edit palette color so here you get the html notation you can also modify for example let's select this one here and then press ok so as you can see it modified the color on this palette so now i'm going to delete this palette in and regenerate the palette so in order to delete the palette just select the palette menu so this is the palette editor and this is the palettes here so now click on the palette you want for example we want the one we named road right click on it and then just click on delete palette so here are you sure you want to remove road so here click on delete and now i'm going to regenerate the palette so here it is and now for example i'm just going to Add a new layer, so click on this icon, fill it with transparency, and then press OK. And now I'm going to select the rectangle selection tool. I'm going to uncheck the expand from center and then uncheck the fixed. And now I'm just going to place here, make selection here, press center. I'm going to fill it with white. So here it is. And now I'm going to select none. And now while the on the rectangle selection tool, I'm going to check the expand from center and then check the fixed. And now I'm just going to make selection. So here I'm going to move it with the rectangle selection tool. And now I'm just going to drag a color here so that I have them on the image. So now I'm just going to move it, move this selection here to this side here. So here it is. And now I'm going to drag this one. And for this one here, I'm going to move it down. So here it is, and now go to select, none. So here, for example, if you select the color picker tool, 
left click so here it will change to the foreground and now if you keep the control key down here while using the color picker tool and then left click on the color so here it will it will add the color here to the background and here if you click just left click it will add it to the foreground so here it is that's how you can generate color palettes from images in GIMP thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time